Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Zelle to send and receive money. First of all, you'll need access to Zelle. If your bank offers Zelle, you'll typically find it integrated within your bank's mobile app or online banking system. Just log into your bank's app and look for Zelle in the Payments or Transfer section. If your bank does not offer Zelle, you can download the Zelle app from your App Store or Google Play and register using your debit card. If you haven't heard of Zelle, it's a safe way to send or receive money regardless of where your bank account is. Zelle is an alternative for people who don't have services like Western Union, PayPal or other access to traditional banking accounts. To start using Zelle, you'll need to enroll your email or mobile number through your bank's mobile application or the Zelle app. From there, you can send money by entering the amount and choosing who to send it to. To set up your account, simply search for your bank. For example, if I choose my bank Santander, you'll see that you can quickly send money using Zelle in Santander's mobile banking app. If your bank isn't available, you can download the Zelle app on your phone. Zelle might not be available in some countries, but it works similarly to PayPal, Western Union or Wise. I'll now show you how to use the same process with a different app. No matter which app you're using, PayPal, Zelle, Western Union, they will all ask you how you'd like to send money and what exactly you're sending. For example, let's say I'm sending $50 USD. The app will show the fee, which varies depending on the platform. PayPal, Western Union, Wise or Zelle. It's essential to check this fee in the app you're using. The fee will depend on the amount, the type of account you're using and the platform's current charges. Once you confirm the total fees, the amount you're sending and the conversion rate, if needed, you can proceed. For example, you could send $50 USD, which converts to $66 KD after fees. If you're okay with it, you can confirm the transfer. It's crucial to note that all these platforms, whether it's Wise, Zelle or PayPal, will require account verification. You'll need to provide personal details like government-issued ID, passport, driver's license, etc. to continue. Once your account is verified, you'll be able to send and receive money. During the process, you'll have to add details about the recipient, whether it's for yourself, someone else or a business. This includes their email, full name, institution number, transit account number, account type, etc. The platform you're using may ask for more or fewer details, depending on its requirements. For example, WISE might ask for an institution number, and Zelle might not. You can track your transaction details, including whether the money has been sent and received. The transaction information will show the total fees, transaction number, who received the money, when it was withdrawn, and how it was withdrawn. Only send money to people you know and trust. Unlike credit card transactions, payments made with Zelle cannot be reversed once sent, unless it was to an incorrect email or phone number. Always double-check the email, contact info and phone number before sending money through Zelle. If you're receiving money, make sure to provide the correct information to the sender so that you can receive your funds without delay. That's it for this video. If this video helped you out, feel free to buy me a coffee using the link in the description. This will support the channel so I can keep making more videos like this.